Welcome to Sandbox Mode. It's the greatest. Um, yeah. It's not quite what you might think by a standard sandbox mode, but you have uh, endless seasons. So you can just continuously cycle through each one after collecting 25 of the sigil fragments that you get from raid chest, uh, clearing islands, ambushes, and just random chests that you can find out in the world. Once you collect 25, you can transition off to the next zone, or next season, I should say. But you can't hold any more than 25, so you can't skip seasons either. Your camp can level up to 25, and from 13 through 15, you get budget increase. So they haven't quite added any new structures or new enemies or anything yet, but it's balancing issues and it's an indie studio, so give them time, I suppose. They're working on key bindings and stuff like that, but the next, for my interest level at least, they're working on difficulty sliders and some presets like Iron Man and Classic Mode, Creative Mode, and certain settings to where you can individually adjust how strong enemies are or how hard it is to get materials or how many recipes you have. You can turn off the need for schematics and permadeath, which brings up all kinds of interesting possibilities. So they're going to work on some adjustments to the combat as well. It's a bit, as, as one of the developers said, button mashy, which is kind of funny. And again, Teslas are just cheating. It's not nice. My buddy. My buddy. My buddy. Anyhow. Um, yeah, they, they need to adjust this. This is absurd. <laughs> So every level after 25, you get a cosmetic unlock, such as this obscenely stylish nonsense I'm wearing right now. Yeah. The depot updates are really nice. Now you have filter options, and it shows the count that you have, as well as you can individually deposit your crystals and uh, crafting materials in mass, which is nice. And I don't know... Maybe I just wasn't paying attention or something, which is always a possibility, but there's a map marker. I, I'm i pretty sure that's new. I could be wrong. If, if I'm wrong, that's disastrous because you can see it in the overworld. Um, my direction challenge ass will definitely get some use out of this. As far as my camp, it's a bit different this time around, and it's... Got some adjustments I'm gonna make to it to make to it to to up a to. Mm -hmm. Talking is fun. Anyway, same basic structures as I used in the previous, except for I'm not housing everything inside of a wall and and 400 Teslas and all that nonsense. So I've got individual sections for their sleep and entertainment, with the beds and the puppet stations, puppet or puppet theater. Yeah. And then another one over here, which again, I'm going to probably end up changing the size of it, maybe put the Teslas a little bit further out, and add probably three Teslas per section. It seems to work pretty well. And for this one over here, I've got my Teslas in the middle, and the power, and then utility water. Water fountains, and then working on the second row over there. Pumpkins. And then I can move this wall out and add another row of pumpkins. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but that's fine. Look, I don't even know what the fuck I'm wearing right now, but it's happening. So we're going to go with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful or somewhat entertaining or a little bit of combination of both. Then uh, take care now. Tacos later. Bye, baby. <laughs>